Hassan Tamale is a 32-year-old taxi tout who plies his trade along the Salama Munyanya Road. He took on this job for the sole reason of earning a living. Hassan is a trained teacher with a diploma in secondary education from Chambogo University. Three months after his graduation, Hassan landed himself a teaching job at a government secondary school in Mukono. He has vivid memories of the three years he spent as a history and geography teacher. First of all, it was a village, and you know village life. Mm, even the salary are not appreciating at all. You have to feed like a student, and you know that time. Posho, beans, not even flight. You go like 50, 150, and when try to budget for that 150 actually per month, Totally get nothing. Hassan has a daughter he sired while at university. The difficulties he experienced when his daughter fell sick sometime are still ingrained in him. The situation is very bad. You see, we, are, we, don't, we cannot afford that. So, I was so, so disappointed. It is such frustration that made Hassan quit his job. He implemented the words of a famous Irish playwright, Bernard Shaw, that regarded people who get on in this world are those who get up and look for circumstances they want, and if they can't find them, make them. I got a contract in Sudan, and I went there. So after getting some that little man, I compared it with this one, I said, no, to hell with the teaching. But Hassan's luck soon ran out. His contract was cancelled after he spent a month away from work attending to his wife who had met with an accident. He bought this passenger service vehicle from the savings he had accumulated from Sudan. This taxi is now his main source of income. He hired a driver and chose to work as a tout to ensure that the money he collected was well accounted for. <laughs> Hassan is a father who lives in Salama with his wife and child. When his wife looks back at the days Hassan was a teacher, she is grateful he left teaching. The situation wasn't good because the salary comes at the end of a month and for me I wasn't, I was just at home, no job. There are times Hassan regrets quitting his teaching job. I used to be called Sa, 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 all the time, Sa. You could even see big men, big women calling you, Master, Master. But here you, you receive a lot of abuses. It is not a good job. But it only, I told you, I'm there only one thing, just money. He still loves his profession and wouldn't mind returning to teaching if the conditions got better. I like teaching. I told you from my childhood. Yeah, because I like organizing other people. We set out to Namasumbi Senior Secondary School in Mukono, where Hassan taught for three years. Hassan was given a warm welcome by the students the moment we set foot at the school premises. The excited students spoke fondly of him. We used to play games with him. I just joined the school in Form 5, but I just hear about him that he was a was a, a sociable person to all students. <laughs> the decision to leave teaching did not come easy for Tamale. It is apparent that when we came here at the school, he is still such an adult teacher, and he sometimes regrets why he left, but still he says he had to earn a living, and that could only happen if he had left this profession. Hassan's popularity is not just with the students, but the teachers as well. He was a peer in geography department, so when he told us he was leaving, but I felt un unconscious about his, his going away because he was a man who was not unrepressive actually. Once a teacher, always a teacher, so the saying goes. And that's true of Hassan who still feels part of the school. It can even be seen in the way he interacts with the students. <laughs> Back to his workstation at the old park, Hassan's colleagues say he indeed made the right decision to join their club. <laughs> The teacher in Asan still hopes someday he will practice his passion of imparting knowledge. Gotcha to Musimia Uitkwade, NTV.